Hello, Kids4. Do you know what place this is? Look, there is a city, a tall building, and in the back, there are many mountains. This is Chile. Look, it's a beautiful place. This is a Chilean man. That's it. He's from Chile. He's Chilean. And he has a horse. This man lives on a farm in Chile. He's going to ride his horse up to the mountains. What's the weather like in Chile? Today, it's cloudy. Many, many clouds. It's cloudy and up there in the mountains, it's snowy. Snowy in the mountains. Let's open our books, please, to page 68. There are many places in Chile. Look at some. Hospital, hospital, a cafe, cafe, a supermarket, a library. Library is where we go to get books. We read the books and we return. Okay, we return the books to the library. A museum. A museum is very nice. A movie theater. Cinema. Movie theater. An airport. Look at the airplane. An airport. And a farm. A farm where we grow vegetables, where we grow fruit, and take care of animals. Look at these people on activity two and complete. Where are they? Where is she? She is at the hospital. Where is he? Where is he? He is at the cafe. Please complete. Number three, she's at the supermarket. Four, they, two people. They are at the movie theater. Five, two girls, plural, two. They are at the museum. And six, a boy, he, he's at the library. On page 69, Zach and Una are going to the movie theater. Unit 6, Lesson 2, Track 50. It's 8 o'clock. Zach and Una are going to the movie theater. Are you going to the movie theater? No, we aren't. We're going to the stadium. There's a music festival. Now I'm going to the stadium too. <laughs> Let's look at the yellow post-it here, Grammar. Are you going to the movie theater? Or are we going to the movie theater? Are you? Are you going to the movie theater? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are we going to the movie theater? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Imagine that I am going to the supermarket, mas eu não vou para o supermarket alone. Vou eu e a chicken. Se alguém me perguntar, are you going to the supermarket? 
eu não vou falar só por mim, eu vou falar por mim and my friend. Yes, we, não é só I, we are going to the supermarket. Ok? We, que nem na sala a gente falou, we are Brazilian. Porque não sou só eu e não são só vocês. Somos we. Mm, ok. In Discover Grammar, let's circle the correct alternatives. A gente tem todas as pessoas aqui. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Mas a question começa com are. Are. Posso perguntar, are I going to the park? Are I? Parece um pirata falando, né? Não. Are you going to the park? Yes, are you? Are he? No. Is he? Are she? Uh -uh. Is she? Are it? Também não. Is it? Are we? Yes. Are they? Yes. Let's complete the phrases. Falta a metade. A gente tem lugar, the library, the pool, the supermarket, e a gente tem a pessoa. We ou they. Para we, they, a gente vai usar are ou is. Para you, we, they, nós usamos are. Então, na question, o are está lá no começo. Na afirmativa, ele vai no meio. We are going to the library. Porque eles não estão lá ainda. Eles estão segurando todos os books. Que nem a Una. Estava going to the stadium. Antes ela ia com o Zac. They were going to the, the movie theater. Com esse monte de book. Are they going to the pool? No. No. We aren't. Vou colocar aqui embaixo. We aren't going to the pool. And here. Are they going to the supermarket? No. They aren't going to the supermarket. Are they going to the airport? Yes, many suitcases. Yes, they are. Yes, they are going to the airport. No airport, a gente geralmente vai fazer uma trip para algum outro, outra city, state ou country com a nossa family. Essa family é uma família de four. Mom, dad, brother and sister. Let's see some more family members on page 72. This is Ken and this is a list of his family members, some pictures of his family. Number one, this is his uncle. O uncle do Ken é o brother da mother dele ou do father dele. O brother do meu father é o meu uncle. Aunt. Aunt pode ser a pessoa que a mulher que se casou com o meu uncle ou a sister da minha mother, a sister do meu brother. Ela é a minha aunt. Cousin. Cousin. Cousin, eu posso usar para boys ou girls. Cousin é o baby do meu uncle ou da minha aunt. Então, eu tenho uma aunt e ela tem five kids. Five kids. Two girls and three boys. Todos eles são meus cousins. São todos cousins, tanto boys quanto girls. O Ken tem uma baby sister, um baby brother e os grandparents. Grandparents 
plural, não é só a grandmother ou só o grandfather. São os dois. São os grandparents. Now let's listen to Zach and his family. Age 73. Where is Zach going? He's going to the airport with his grandparents. And Una is going to the airport too. <laughs> They are going to the airport with the bags and Zach is with his grandparents. Is this a story talking about now, now the present or the future? Now in the moment. So let's circle now. Can you tell us any now? In the moment. In activity two, let's complete the question. The questions using where are or where is. Where are for plural and where is for singular. Number one, Zach going. Where are Zach going or where is Zach going? Where is Zach going? Because Zach on boy, he. Where is he going? Where is Zach going? And Una, where are Una going or where is Una going? Where is? Where's Una going? Una is a female, she. And Zach's grandparents, grandparents. Where are or where is? Where are? Two people, plural. They, where are they going? Where are Zach's grandparents going? Agora a gente vai escrever as answers aqui na frente. Então, para a gente lembrar, he's going to the airport, Una is going to the airport. They are all going to the airport. As questions a gente já fez, where's, where's, where are. Na answer, number one, he, o Zach, he is going to the airport. Una, she, she is going to the airport. E para o Zach's grandparents, Luro, e eu não faço parte desse grupo porque eu não sou um grandparent, porque eu não sou grandmother do Zach. Então é they. They are going to the airport. Thank you so much. See you next country.